I've been trying to think of ways that I can expand my smoothie tube channel besides just making smoothies. What are some other cool or cold refreshing beverages that I could make that would be good on a hot summer day? Because summer's just about here. And what happened was I was in Costco this morning. The Vitamix Road Show was there. And the woman at the at the counter made a really nice beverage. It was water with um, strawberries, a couple of slices of lime, some ice, some sweetener. And it was more like an aid. It was watery, like a lemonade. It wasn't thick, like a smoothie, but it was delicious. And I thought that could be a good idea. But what she used that was different, she didn't use the regular the blender jar, which you could. You would just get more pulp in the in the uh, in the drink. She used something new. It's called an Ayer blender jar, A E R, and it's a little bit different. It's got a a disc in the bottom rather than blades. I'll show you a close up. It's got this disc in the bottom, this perforated disc, and the way it was explained to me is that infuses the juices from the fruit into the liquid in the jar without breaking up the fruit. It was quite good. What she made was quite good. So I want to experiment with this today. I'm going to make a strawberry lemonade. So here's my Ayer jar. I'm going to put some strawberries in here. I have just over half a cup of some thawed uh, cut up strawberries. They were frozen but I put them in the refrigerator to thaw and I took a lemon from my neighbor's tree I'm gonna put some water in there put those ingredients in there some stevia and some ice so I'm gonna pour one and a half cups of cold water in there there's markings on the side that's cold water from the refrigerator and then my strawberries and two slices of that lemon plop that in there stevia two packets and finally just a few ice cubes put the lid on and this is ready to blend up. Turn my blender on. Start at number one. And I'm going to blend starting at low and then increase the speed. I don't know if I need to go all the way up to number 10, but I'm going to blend these for about 30 seconds. You can tell by the color change that the fruit juice is in there, the strawberries. Okay, let's pour that into a glass. One thing I thought I might be interested in doing is straining it a little bit. Get some of the pulp out. That's going to take a while for that to drip through. If you like pulp, no need to strain it. There it is. That's ready to drink. Put my straw in there. That's a very full glass. But that looks looks delicious the color is perfect all right let's see what that tastes like all right nice big oh and it's cold too i can feel the glass is so cold that is good i can taste the lemon but the flavor that really comes out is the strawberry that is a really good delicious drink i'm pleased Oh, that's nice. One thing I can imagine is, say you're hosting a, a backyard barbecue and set up a, an extension cord, a little table, your blender, bring out lots, lots of different kinds of fresh fruit, and then make smoothies or make these, these smoothie, these fruit aids on demand for your guests. They can pick their fruit, pick two. I'd like some pineapple and I'd like some strawberry. Make a smoothie for them or a, a fruit aid. That might be fun to do. So anyways, excuse me, but I'm going to go enjoy my strawberry lemonade.